Welcome to our video on the revolutionary RCCI engine technology. As the world faces the urgent challenge of climate change and environmental degradation, it's clear that our reliance on conventional diesel engines is no longer sustainable. These engines, while powerful and efficient, are major contributors to harmful emissions like carbon dioxide, nitrogen oxides, and soot, all of which have devastating effects on our planet and public health. That's why we're here to explore revolutionary advancements in engine technology, with a particular focus on Reactivity Controlled Compression Ignition, RCCI, CI, engines. These modern engines offer a game-changing solution by significantly reducing, and potentially eliminating, the emissions that plague traditional diesel engines. We'll break down how RCCI works, why it's so effective. RCCI stands for Reactivity Controlled Compression Ignition. Unlike traditional engines that use a single type of fuel, RCCI engines use two types of fuel with different reactivities. This unique approach allows for better control over the combustion process, leading to higher efficiency and lower emissions. An RCCI engine is an advanced type of internal combustion engine and it is a variant of the HCCI homogeneous charge compression ignition concept but offers more control over the combustion process. An RCCI reactivity controlled compression ignition engine is a type of internal combustion engine that aims to combine the benefits of traditional diesel engines with those of advanced combustion strategies to reduce harmful emissions. Although it uses a similar reciprocating mechanism with pistons moving inside cylinders, like conventional IC engines, RCCI stands out due to its unique approach to combustion. RCCI engines operate using a dual fuel system, where two types of fuel with different reactivities, usually a high reactivity fuel like diesel and a low reactivity fuel like gasoline or natural gas, are used. The low reactivity fuel is premixed with air and introduced into the cylinder during the intake stroke. The high reactivity fuel is injected directly into the combustion chamber later in the compression stroke. This fuel acts as a trigger for ignition, allowing for precise control over the combustion process. RCCI engines operate very much like the familiar four-stroke diesel engines, following the same four strokes, intake, compression, power, and exhaust. By carefully controlling the timing and amount of fuel injected, the engine can achieve an optimal combustion process that minimizes temperature peaks, which are typically associated with the formation of nitrogen oxides, NOx, and soot. The injection timing of high reactivity fuels, such as diesel, plays a crucial role in the mixing process with the air-fuel mixture, significantly influencing combustion characteristics. The key distinction between pilot dual fuel and reactivity controlled compression ignition RCCI, modes lies in the timing of diesel fuel injection, which directly affects the nature of combustion. In dual fuel engines, the timing of diesel injection typically mirrors that of traditional diesel combustion (CDC), with injection occurring close to top dead center (TDC), typically within a range of minus 10 to minus 30 degrees after top dead center (ATDC). In contrast, reactivity controlled compression ignition (RCCI) operates with a significantly advanced injection of diesel fuel occurring much earlier in the cycle often between minus 50 and minus 120 degrees ATDC. This earlier injection promotes better mixing between the high reactivity diesel and the premixed low reactivity fuel, such as gasoline or natural gas. In pilot dual fuel engines, the diesel injection timing is similar to that of diesel combustion, occurring close to top dead center. This results in a combustion process that is primarily controlled by the mixing of fuel with air, often referred to as a mixing-controlled combustion. As the diesel fuel is injected directly into the cylinder near TDC, the short duration available for mixing leads to the formation of a diesel diffusion flame, which then ignites the premixed low-reactivity fuel. In contrast, RCCI employs an earlier injection of diesel, which allows for greater mixing between the high-reactivity fuel, diesel, and the low reactivity fuel, such as natural gas. 
This earlier injection timing promotes a more homogeneous mixture with stratified reactivity levels, enabling the combustion process to be governed primarily by chemical kinetics rather than mixing limitations. The stratification of reactivity within the cylinder facilitates a controlled auto-ignition process. By allowing for a more thorough pre-mixing of fuels and precise control over the combustion phasing, RCCI offers advantages in terms of reduced emissions and improved fuel efficiency, making it a promising approach for advanced combustion strategies. Lower emissions, RCCI engines significantly reduce NOx, soot, and carbon dioxide emissions compared to traditional diesel engines. This is because the combustion process is more controlled, avoiding the high temperature zones that typically produce NOx and soot. Improved efficiency. These engines can achieve higher thermal efficiency, which means more of the fuel's energy is converted into useful work, reducing overall fuel consumption. Fuel flexibility. RCCI engines can run on a variety of fuel combinations, making them adaptable to different fuel types and blends, which can be beneficial in a transition to cleaner energy sources. Complexity. The dual fuel system and precise control requirements make RCCI engines more complex than conventional engines, which could lead to higher costs and maintenance requirements. Fuel availability. Widespread adoption of RCCI technology would require the availability of suitable fuels in the market, which is currently a limitation in some regions. Despite their advantages, RCCI engines face several technical challenges. These include optimizing fuel injection timing, managing combustion noise, and ensuring durability. In addition, challenges related to high peak pressure rise rate and limited operating range under high loads are important. Ongoing research is focused on developing advanced control systems and materials to overcome these challenges. RCCI technology is being explored in various sectors, including automotive, marine, and industrial applications. For example, experimental RCCI engines are being tested in cars, trucks, and even ships to improve fuel efficiency and reduce emissions. The future of RCCI engines looks promising as research continues to advance. With potential applications across different industries and the ongoing push for cleaner and more efficient technologies, RCCI engines could play a significant role in reducing our carbon footprint. In summary, RCCI engines offer a unique and promising approach to combustion technology, combining the benefits of both gasoline and diesel engines. As research and development continue, we can expect to see more innovative applications of this technology. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave your comments below. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.